If we think about the way data sets are being used in the financial services industry, and fintech is the term you might hear in the market, financial technology companies, big data is being deployed in financial services in a really big way. There, uh, well, let's see, yesterday morning, Globe and Mail, Manulife no longer sending everything in the underwriting process uh, out to the lab. Using data for the purposes of underwriting very expensive insurance policies, but ultimately using big data and the knowledge that can be extracted from big data, because that's ultimately what we're here to discuss. Big data is one thing, but the knowledge extracted thereof is the is the commercial and enterprise and social and human value that we can get from it. Manulife announced quite publicly yesterday that they are using big data sets in the pursuit of better underwriting for efficiency on their side, but also they think there are certain tests that can tell if someone smokes, urine and blood tests come to mind, but they can actually source that information without doing that testing using big data sets and two weeks ago, the CRA announced that they're using social listening and big data for the purposes of making sure that we're all being honest with our tax returns. The concept being, does your social profile look like you've made a quarter million dollars or the 32 that you said you made? And that's quite obvious to all of us that we know what that might look like. Clothes you're wearing, cars you're driving, places you visit, real estate that you're perhaps habitating within, and this is available in the public sphere. Back to financial services, there are organizations underwriting loans based on LinkedIn profiles, a bank login, and your Facebook profile, meaning someone's footprint digitally on the web is a pretty good indication of other performances, in this case of paying your debt. So now to come to healthcare for a moment, and let's talk about those data sets that today you will use the term data liquidity. The concept, if we can think of data as liquid first, in healthcare it's stuck in what we call data lakes. The data does not connect, it does not flow from lake to lake yet, and there are reasons for that. Legacy systems that exist in healthcare, healthcare has made substantial investments in IT. But largely, and I hope I offend everyone here equally, it's what I call yet tech. It is not the technologies that each of us wake up with and uh, touch first every day, but rather it is systems born uh, of client server days, 1990s technologies generally, some of which have been ported to the web and uh, systems are used to modernize user interfaces, but at the back end the architectures are old. And the capacity for those data lakes to flow and then for the extraction of value for that data is a challenge, and it's a challenge that each of us should consider to be ours. From a career perspective, what a wildly amazing place to be.